Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I'm going to go over two nodes in N8N. One it's called sort and one it's called weight. Uh, I don't see them a lot uh, in people's workflows. Uh, some people don't know about them. So I'm going to explain them today so you can start incorporating them in your automations. Uh, before I start, I just want to point your attention to my store. Here, you will find basically all of the automations that I cover in my lessons and also some automations that I did that, uh, that I use uh, uh, in my, in my uh, automations. Uh, so you can, you can find them here, you can download them, you can tweak them, you can resell them, and you can put them to use, okay? Uh, and also I have a course specifically for beginners uh, if you're coming from make or if you're for example starting out or you're advanced user but you just want the basics again a refresher you can go over and do that course it will be beneficial so without further ado I am in an 8 n right now <clears throat> I'm going to go over this create workflow uh, orange button right here it's very 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 uh, visible it's on the top right but I am choosing to use this button that nobody uses all right so I am in N8N right now <clears throat> so I need to add a trigger a trigger is the way you would start your workflow okay so the point zero. First, let me rename this let's name it to sort wait there you go let's go so instead of using this button that everybody uses i'm going to use this one uh, so i'm going to go trigger manually what that means is this workflow will not be started unless you click one of these two buttons either this one or this one okay it cannot be turned on because it doesn't uh, trigger with time or trigger with an external resource okay so first I'm gonna get some data that's the first thing we're gonna do so we're gonna get rows if you don't know how to use the Google sheet uh, node I have another lesson here on the YouTube channel and I go over that in depth in my course as well so I'm going to take the ID from here and I'm going to put it uh, in here. So I'm going to choose ID. I could have chosen the whole URL, but ID is enough. So choose the sheet that you want. And there you go. Now we have all of our data that we can see here. <clears throat> so perfect. That's what we want. Now let's go ahead and add the sort. So, so a sort is basically to change the order of items. As you can see with these arrows, you can change the order. Now inside of make.com, this sorting is actually uh, inside of the Google Sheet uh, node. So there's sorting inside of that. But in here, in the node in here, we don't have that. So sorting, let's see. We have multiple options. So the simple one, let's go simple first. So we're going to have to choose a, a row from here. So we're going to go for a row number because it's a number that is increasing. And now we can choose either ascending or descending. Now, if you're like me, you don't know what's the difference between those two. You can Google that. <laughs> but for me, I, I like to think of it ascending is like going from A to Z and descending is like going from Z to A. Okay, uh, so let's go for ascending first and let's test. There you go, we have exactly what we have already. So if we switch to, uh, switch to descending, it will switch. It will start from the last row onwards. All right, so... Uh, we can add fields as well if we want to uh, to do that. But that's basically it. You can you can go with the name, for example, here. Let's test. It will go ahead and do that as well. But it will do it by the name. So by I think the first letter of each one. 
Okay, so let's try random. So random, it will just randomly put them in a way if you want. If you want that, if you want, if you're choosing randomly, this would be a good option. If you want to choose a, a random way to sort your items so you're not going one by one or from ascending or descending, that's good. Code is where you put some code. I'm not a coder. I don't think you are either. So I'm going to not look at this as it's scary. So uh, simple and random are the most ones that you would use. Uh, you can choose the field to sort by and here uh, you, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so that is sorting in a nutshell. It's very useful. It's very useful node. Uh, okay, so then the other node I wanted to go is the weight. <clears throat> now, the weight is as, as the term says, it just gives your automation some time for it to uh, to pass this node. Now, in inside of make.com, this node is called sleep. And it's inside the tools. So it's called sleep. It's the same thing as the weight. It just is a node that you can uh, wait for things to happen. For example, if you're calling an API and you know that the API will get back to you in 60 seconds, then okay, I could put a node 60, I put then 60 seconds. And then this will wait for 60 seconds, okay? And you can go by minute, hours, and even days. Now this, you can do that in make. In make, you're, you're limited to 300 uh, seconds, I think, that's it. But here you can, you can do all of that. This is very, very, very powerful. Now, uh, let me test this. So let's test this. Okay, I need to add, uh, to have something. So if you're wondering, well, that's a lot of time. Yes, because it's doing it seven times. That's the thing. So uh, we can do a limit here to just limit it to one then we only have one to uh, and then bam okay so this is the weight node it's a very very useful node i use it in a lot of times when i'm calling an api when i'm dealing with uh even with google sheets with any of these uh when i'm requesting a lot because if you're requesting a lot it'll just uh stop the workflow and gives you an error of timeout or you're questing too much. So uh, always put a three to five seconds uh, between those, uh, even if you're, if you're using the OpenAI node as well, give, give, you, give yourself some time in between, like three to four seconds or five seconds enough for, uh, to reset for, for, for an error not to trigger. All right, sorting and waiting. This was today's lesson. I hope this was useful to you and you'll start using these nodes in your uh, automation. If you did find this video uh, useful, please go ahead and give it a like. Uh, subscribe for uh, uh, more videos in the future. Uh, I just like this, uh, this tidy up, they added it new. Uh, and uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below. And I'm going to see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.